This question tells us that when we run this reaction, and I've actually run this reaction in the lab before, it produces hydrogen gas. So it asks us then how many grams of this calcium hydride are needed to generate 145 liters of hydrogen gas if my pressure is 825 torr and my temperature is 21 degrees Celsius. OK, so whenever we're looking at any equation where I'm going from one reactant or product to another, the thing that I really need to do to be able to interchange between one uh, reactant or product in an equation to another is determine the number of moles. If I, for instance, knew that I knew the number of moles of hydrogen here, I could back calculate how many moles of calcium hydride I would need in order to produce that many moles of hydrogen. Once I have the number of moles of calcium hydride, I can go anywhere. I can convert that into grams of calcium hydride. So what I really need to determine is the number of moles right there. Of course, the ideal gas uh, constant is 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And I'm going to use the ideal gas law to determine what the number of moles is. Ideal gas law is PV equals nRT. I'm going to rearrange it algebraically to put N on one side and everything else on the other, PV divided by RT. <clears throat> pressure is in torr, temperature is in degrees Celsius. Ugh. So I'm going to have to add or do some conversions. 21, point, uh, 20, 21 added to 273.15 gives me the number of uh, kelvins that I've got. That ends up uh, equaling 300.15 kelvins. So that's my temperature. This pressure I need to convert into atmosphere. So I've got 825 torrs. I've memorized that one atmosphere is equal to 760 torrs. The tors cancel each other out, and I've calculated that that ends up being 1.09 atmospheres. So now I've got everything in the units that I need. I'm going to try and determine now how many moles of hydrogen gas this is going to be. So N equals pressure. The pressure is 1.09 atmospheres. The volume is 145 liters. That is a large volume, isn't it? 145 <coughs> liters. The ideal gas constant is 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And the last item here, temperature, is 300.15 Kelvin. OK, I should have all my units cancel out. It should leave me with moles. Moles are in the denominator of the denominator, which means they're in the numerator. So I've got moles over here. I times all that uh, through in my calculator. And I end up getting 6.42 moles of hydrogen. Remember, this is moles of hydrogen. So what I'm going to do is write that down 6.42 moles of H2. That is how many moles I'm going to be producing. I want to eventually get to grams of calcium hydride. How in the world do I do that? Well, What I want is to make 6.42 moles of H2. This is a balanced uh, chemical equation. I can write moles of H2 in the denominator, and then I can write moles of calcium hydride in the numerator. Can we relate those two to each other? Of course we can. In this bounce chemical reaction, there are two moles of H2 for every one mole. OK, there's not a one written there, but it's implied, of calcium hydride. So I can put one mole of calcium hydride for every two moles of hydrogen. If I were to do that, that would tell me how many moles of calcium hydride I, I need. I'm not going to stop there, however, because the question asked me how many grams. So I'm going to write down moles. One mole of calcium hydride equals a certain number of grams. That number of grams if I'm, is 42. Yeah, 42. So my moles of calcium hydride should cancel each other out. My moles of hydrogen gas should cancel each other out. I times all that through. I end up getting 135 grams of calcium hydride. I have to stop parenthetically to mention, I realize that all these calculations might seem really, really busy and hard and difficult and inundating, but I want you to imagine that if you actually worked somewhere where you were required to formulate or create an airbag that created hydrogen gas or something in some means, or, or an inflatable raft or something, where you worked at a company where you were doing this, would you have to know how to do these calculations? Yeah, you bet. So is it good to learn how to do them? Heck yeah.